In 2019, Opendoor bought and sold over 18,000 houses across 21 markets in the USA to bring in nearly $5 billion of revenues. At the time, Opendoor led its closest competitor by over four times in terms of homes resold. Beyond buying and reselling houses, Opendoor's world-class team dominates their industry by vertically integrating centralized services that buyers and sellers of real estate properties need to succeed. Not only can a homeowner sell their house to Open Door in a few clicks, in a couple days, the same seller can work with Open Door to list their home and attract buyers on Open Door's specialized marketplace. And buyers who choose Open Door get the benefit of the company's full stack of centralized services from title and escrow to financing, home insurance and warranty, home upgrades, and even moving services. Open Door aims to do it all under their single roof. As a result of this vertical integration, Open Door is able to offer better services at lower prices across underserved markets. Today, Open Door is a publicly traded company on the stock market, leading the iBuy market ahead of older companies that are household names. In the little time it's been public, its market value has already exceeded $20 billion. If you're into SPACs, otherwise known as special purpose acquisition companies, you've definitely heard of them. In fact, we've discussed the company many times on this channel, bowacademy.org, which if you haven't already, you should subscribe to if you're interested in more videos like this. It's become clear that Open Doors technology is all matched as it is their main point of advantage over legacy real estate brokers. Nonetheless, they are still only getting started on their path to broader domination of the $1.3 trillion real estate market in the USA. Eric Wu, the CEO of Open Door, has built a truly exciting business. But before we further explore their current successes and future plans, it's important that we take a couple steps back through Open Door's history to learn how we got here and how we might get to next. This is the story of Open Door, and you are watching BowAcademy.org on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment your thoughts below. Now, let's get into the exciting story of Open Door. There are two ways to sell your house. The easiest way is selling it to Open Door. All you have to do is go to opendoor.com and you'll get a competitive offer in just a few steps so you can close on your timeline. So this is a real offer? Really real. Open Door will take a look at your house along with recent sales in your neighborhood and come up with a very competitive offer. You'll know exactly how much you'll get and you can close whenever you're ready. So what do you think? Well, I'm sold. We're sold? <laughs> sold to Open Door. In a 2019 CNBC profile article, we learn more about Eric Wu, co-founder and current CEO of Open Door. As an economics major attending the University of Arizona, Wu initiated his lifelong investing relationship with real estate when he put $20,000 in scholarship money into a down payment on a home in Tuscan near his school's campus. Wu said, I lived in the home and rented out some of the rooms. And then I use that monthly rent income to pay for my living costs and other things associated with being at school. But he didn't stop there. What happened was I refinanced the home and pulled out equity and used that as a down payment on other homes I ended up buying during that time. Buying real estate developed into a favorite pastime on par with his love of writing code and building websites. By the time he graduated in 2005, he had 25 homes in his portfolio. Eventually, Wu found a way to combine his passion, and in 2008, he co-founded the neighborhood and landlord review site, rentadvisor.com, which was later sold to apartment list in 2013. Around the time that he sold rentadvisor.com, Wu had been working on another project called Movity which leveraged geodata such as commute times and comparable prices to assist home buyers in their search for cost-effective properties. Eventually, Wu sold Movity to Trulia for $1.3 million. So long before Open Door, Eric Wu had an impressive track record of proven expertise in business strategies, tech innovation, and real estate market knowledge. As a result, many of the features of his Movity startup resemble the suite of services Open Door provides today. Founding 
Open Door, founded in 2014, is a vertically integrated digital platform that aims to streamline the complications and many pain points involved in home buying and selling. It uses complex pricing algorithms to determine fair market prices for homes while also making attractive cash offers in as little as 24 hours. However, Open Door is not a common home flipper. They don't target distressed properties or follow the common buy low, sell high model. Instead, they buy homes in good conditions at competitive prices. Their business model is fee-based with service charges averaging out to around 5%. They make their money from the difference between how much they pay for a house and the price they sell it for, minus expenses, of course. And their website says Open Door purchases your home from you, and you also get to choose your close date to avoid expensive double moves, double mortgages, and storage units. Properties that qualify for Open Door's program are single family homes built after 1960, ranging from $125,000 to $500,000. Reselling Homes Open Door's CTO and co-founder Ian Wong is lead engineer of the machine learning team responsible for constructing Open Door's digital platforms. He designed the initial automation evaluation model underpinning the core pricing infrastructure of the OVM, Open Door Valuation Model. Wow, try saying that five times. The OVM, fed data from multiple sources, is based on a neural network called the Siamese network. It learns, adjusts, and weighs buyer and seller behaviors. In-house pricing experts work in tandem with the OVM to refine the raw data calculations, adding and verifying data, making intermediate and user-facing decisions. Curious how Opendoor makes a competitive offer on your home? We follow a proven three-step process to competitively price your home. First, you submit some details about your home, like its features, conditions, upgrades, and optional photos. Second, we look at the sale prices of homes that are comparable to yours. We call these comparable homes comps. We choose comps that sold recently, are located nearby, and share similar features and neighborhood amenities with your home. Of course, no two homes are exactly the same, so the comps only provide a starting point for your home's value. The third step is to make adjustments. We take each comp and compare it feature by feature to your home to make dollar value adjustments for differences. For example, let's say a comp is smaller than your home, but has one more bedroom. Then we'd make an upward adjustment to the value of your home to reflect your larger square footage and a downward adjustment for one less bedroom. We make adjustments for all the key differences in features like appliances, upgrades, number of rooms, and more. We also adjust for neighborhood trends, like how quickly homes in your area are appreciating in value. And because our local real estate experts live in your city, they know the different neighborhoods' characteristics and school systems. Finally, after making all of these adjustments, we get to a competitive offer price. As a reminder, this offer won't yet account for repairs that can only be determined when we see your home. So when you decide to move forward, we'll schedule a free home assessment to verify your home details and condition. Of course, you know your home best. If you feel we've missed something or have more details to provide, we'll happily reassess your offer. And all of this is done at Open Doors headquarters, which is based in San Francisco, California. The board of directors includes venture capitalists, Keith Rebels, and several members of social capital, Hido Sophia, Holding Corp 2 which is IPOB, which we've covered many times in this channel. So if you haven't seen that, you should go check out our previous video on IPOB covering the deal which took Open Door Public via a SPAC merger with IPOB. Since its beginning, the iBio has received more than 700,000 requests for cash offers. In 2017, the company sold 3,000 homes. Although Open Door was still losing hundreds of millions of dollars each year, they steadily expanded into big cities like Phoenix. In those cities, the company was able to quickly capture 5% share of the real estate market. By 2019, Open Door sold over 18,000 houses, bringing in $4.7 billion in revenues. That was 6x growth in just two years. It was also more revenues than their two closest competitors combined. Unfortunately, 2020 saw a drop in home purchases. Revenue decreased to $2.6 billion, largely due to Open Door's decision to pause acquisitions in response to the pandemic. Furthermore, 
Open Doors sold off nearly $1 billion worth of inventory due to prolonged uncertainty in the market. However, on September 15, 2020, Open Door merged with blank check company IPOB, which helped the private company raise $1 billion in capital to fund their expansion plans and more immediately survive the once in a generation pandemic shutdown of the world economy. Yeah, Andrew, I appreciate you having me and excited to, to announce that we're, we're partnering with Chamath and Social Capital to take the company public. Um, you know, we, we always believe that one of our long term goals was to be a successful independent public company. And originally, SPAC, a SPAC wasn't the, the route we wanted to take, but a couple things that really drew us to this path. One was speed to market, right? We wanted to focus the management team on building the best product and the best business, as opposed to distracting the company on taking the company public. And the second is Chamath is fundamentally a technology investor. He's an operator. He believes in building organizations the right way for the long haul, and that really aligned with our vision of how to build Open Door. With the company projecting profitability in 2023, the decision to go public quickly raised Open Door's market capitalization to $18 billion. Now that the merger is complete, the economy is reopening, and the real estate market seemingly has no plans of slowing, how are things looking for the new publicly traded iBuyer? Well, on August 11th, 2021, Open Door published a letter to shareholders with their financial results for the second quarter of 2021, which ended June 30th. Eric Wu, the CEO, discussed the tremendous momentum the company was able to sustain during the quarter. Reflecting on the company's achievements, Wu said, We acquired a record 8,494 homes, generated revenues of $1.2 billion, and delivered adjusted EBITDA of $25.6 million representing growth of 136% in homes acquired, 59% in revenues, and nearly $28 million in adjusted EBITDA compared to the first quarter. That's very good. They also reported an inventory balance of $2.7 billion, up 224% sequentially. Their current market capitalization is about $11.8 billion, still down considerably from their highs ahead of closing their SPAC merger, but that doesn't mean the company is underperforming. Open Door's stock trades more than 87% above its pro forma valuation from their SPAC merger with IPOB less than a year ago. Investors who got in early are surely rejoicing at the continued growth of Open Door. Executives of Open Door attributed this monumental growth to a favorable selling environment and the company's direct buy approach. Open Door's 2021 market demographic analysis identified millennials forming the largest cohort of first time home buyers. In addition, many millennials, as digital natives, are very active consumers in the on demand economy and have grown accustomed to app based marketplaces. Open Door provided earnings guidance for the third quarter to fall somewhere between $1.8 and $1.9 billion with an adjusted EBITDA of $15 to $25 million. Open Door's CFO Kerry Wheeler seems to be very confident in the 2023 revenue projections from the company's public offering. She attributes three primary factors for her continued confidence. First, more consumer awareness thanks to more aggressive marketing campaigns. Second, Open Door's expansion to 41 markets. And third, an increase in the buy box, which is the number of homes in any given market that Open Door is willing to consider for purchase. The USA is in the hottest seller market of all time for residential homes. Open Door is at the threshold of what Wheeler described as a massive secular shift in real estate from offline to online. The market frenzy is not discouraging sellers from putting their money into Open Door's assurances of a clean, hassle free online experience. Surviving Market Risk In 2020, stock prices plummeted to record lows during the coronavirus stock market crash. Investors watched the retirement savings stream by 30% in the short span of time between February 12th and March 23rd, 2020. Open Doors stock suffered as well when revenue plunged by 45%. On top of this, many bearish investors drawing parallels to the housing market boom in the late 2000s continue to warn of a looming bubble. In 2021, growth stocks have been falling hard while bond yields have been on the rise. This mountain apprehension also contributed to many SPACs, including those sponsored by Jamath Palabatia, like Open Door, 
being sold off, occasionally leveling their prices to their original net asset values NAV, of $10 per share. In effect, Open Door has lately seemed like more of a risky investment, which may explain why ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood sold nearly 1.3 million shares of Open Door earlier this year. Though the pandemic weighed heavily on financial markets, Open Door worked to expand its total operating markets to 14 major cities shortly before its merger with IPOB. This move was supported by July 2020 being a record breaking month for mortgage purchases and refinance applications. Open Door continues to show that they can readily survive events that prove difficult for many other market participants. The pandemic was surely a setback, but Open Door is quickly rebuilding its momentum. Competitors Zillow is Open Door's primary competition. With nearly 17 years of business, the leading real estate platform has a market value of $24.8 billion, more than double that of Open Door. In recent years, Zillow, with its new Zillow Offers division, has jumped on the eye buying wagon due to competition. Still, as big as Zillow has become, they have a great deal of work to do to catch up to Open Door in this space. Open Door services more markets and is becoming known for its lightning turnaround times. They also tout the nation's largest home trade in program. However, Zillow controls the top of the real estate funnel. This is in part due to their access to the multiple listing service, which Open Door currently cannot leverage. Once a partner of Zillow's up until 2018, OfferPad is now positioning itself as a new competitor in this scene. At the beginning of September 2021, this newcomer went public via a merger with a SPAC company, Supernova, which is headed by former Zillow CEO Spencer Raskoff. With little more than 300 million shares outstanding at $9 per share, their market capitalization is roughly $2.7 billion. OfferPad is seeing more returns on a per home basis with a focus on capitalizing on renovation investment. In 2020 alone, they sold 5,337 homes and saw $1.1 billion in revenues with $5 million in EBITDA losses. Open Door's Future Plans Open Door recently acquired two home renovation startups, Skylight and Pro.com. In a September 2021 article on Open Door's blog, Wu expressed that the additions of the Skylight and Pro.com teams will bring on like-minded founders and teammates who care deeply about transforming housing. While their platforms will be sunsetted, the talent and technology on each of these teams will help us scale and accelerate our roadmap. Skylight and Pro.com bring a lot of technical prowess to the table, including Skylight's expertise in tech platforms displaying 3D visualizations and floor plans, and Pro.com's specialized pricing engine. Not to mention that some of the Pro.com co-founders are Amazon alumni. Interestingly, in yet another proactive investment move, on September 1st of this year, Wu bought $20 million worth of shares in rising prop tech startup Flat.mx. They call themselves the open door of Mexico. They've been attracting attention even through the pandemic. The founders of Flat.mx reported an increase in sales of 70% quarter over quarter and a boost in inventory 10 times over the past year. With this push towards expansion, we can see Open Door staying ahead of the curve. Eric Wu and his world-class team are smart about how they invest and reintegrate profits back into building more robust algorithms and technologies. They have far exceeded NLS expectations and appear to be on pace to meet their aggressive 2023 forecast. You have been watching BoAcademy.org on YouTube, where we teach long-term investing by breaking down concepts and sharing the stories of companies to help you build long-lasting, sustainable wealth that will help you retire on your terms. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did and want to see more like it, please remember to like the video below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment your thoughts on this topic. I would love to hear from you, and I always do my best to respond to every comment. And if you would like to engage with me outside of YouTube, feel free to follow me over on Instagram at LincolnWDaniel, where I share random thoughts on life and wealth building that I believe would help others. Finally, as always, this video has been brought to you by our patrons at patreon.boacademy.org who support this channel financially to help us keep going and help me brainstorm new video ideas to share with all of you. 
We do all of this in our private Discord channel where we share knowledge and discuss the stock market in real time every day by sharing news, rumors, and new investment ideas so we can all do our own research and then come back together and collaborate. So if you're interested in all of that, I hope you'll join us over at patreon.boacademy.org. I'm Lincoln with boacademy.org. Thank you again and have a great day.